Hey friends, it's Don from Elevate and I've got a camera looking over my shoulder here and we are looking at the oil cooler kit for the P1 T5 cars. So Volvo C30, S40, V50, C70 and we've actually got a variant of this kit in the works for the P3 T6 cars. So this is basically the kit as it's, as it's shipped to you. Uh, it comes mostly assembled but before we even get into the details of the kit let's take a step back and kind of go over theory of the benefits of the kit. So this is your oil pan. This one has seen better days, but hey, that's what we're here to talk about. So the way that your oil cooler works from the factory is, I'm not even going to call it an oil cooler, it's, I'm going to call it more of a heat exchanger, but there's this little unit on the side that is plumbed into this cooler. So what you see is, is these are oil passages, and the oil passages flow through the heat exchanger. So there's oil passing through this. And then here, you have coolant in and coolant out. I'm not sure which side is which, but coolant is passing through this, you know, engine coolant. And then oil is also passing through, so this heat exchanger is uh, using engine oil, using engine coolant to cool down the oil. So what we've created is a simple adapter bracket that a lot then we include the seals so new seals adapter bracket goes on there and now we have access to an external oil cooler so just going through the components of the kit starting with the oil cooler itself we use a Cetrab oil cooler um, Cetrab's coolers are made in Sweden. They are factory oil coolers on Ferrari, Lamborghini, a lot of the German top tuning brands. Uh, only use Cetrab. Super high quality cooler, very efficient, very effective, works really well. Um, it's important, a lot, a lot of people don't pay attention to it, but oil coolers need to be rubber mounted. So we take the extra time to include uh, to, to mount the cooler with rubber mounts top and bottom so that the cooler itself is separated from the shock of the car and also as a as the engines running the oil is actually pulsing from from the oil pump itself so that pulsing action actually takes a beating on cheaper coolers and we've actually seen coolers fail as a result so this upper bracket is our own design it's aluminum um, mounts to the oil cooler itself and then with these slots it, it mounts up under two bolts that are here on the radiator support uh, that actually secure the hood latch. So you just back those those bolts out. This slides in there. It's slotted so that it can be adjusted height wise. And then these rubber bumpers on the bottom actually set on top of the front bumper. So that's how the oil cooler itself is secured. It's got two 90 degree fittings. Um, we all of the fittings that we use are American made so they're either Earl's or XRP uh, so high quality fittings throughout so that is the oil cooler you've got the adapter plate that we talked about it is uh, thick just billet aluminum that we machined that's the side that the oil seals go on to match up with the oil pan itself here again, 90 degree dash 10 fittings. These are already pre-installed for you, ready to go. Those are mounted, the plate itself is mounted with the bolts, with washers, super straightforward. Of course we include new seals to seal to the oil pan. We use high quality dash 10 hose throughout the system. And then an important detail is the coolant bypass hose. So with the heat exchanger, when you install our oil cooler, we need a way to connect the two hard lines that are already there, that are already existing. So this bypass hose goes in there and keeps the, allows the coolant just to keep circulating through and bypass the heat exchanger that was on there. Visit our website, www.elevatecars.com, and learn more about this product.